Voicemail. It's old school, or that's what you may often hear, but it's still a very valuable new business tool. And we've got the proof to back it up, along with three tips on how to leave effective voicemails. Right, welcome to Three Takeaways, your agency new business video series where we focus on one new business category and give you three takeaways to help improve your new business program. So we now have all the presentations from our 2021 RSW Agency New Business Virtual Conference available individually for purchase. And that link is in the description below. And so for today's episode, I wanna focus on one of those sessions. It's converting prospects to clients. And in it, one of our new business directors, Liz Lindley, discussed the continued value of phone outreach and talked about a fairly large win she helped one of our agency clients get, and it started with a voicemail. There's your proof. Proof. And this is during COVID, by the way. So in this episode, we're going to give you three tips on leaving effective voicemails in your new business follow-up, and let's start with a stat. 80% of salespeople don't leave a message. So here's your first takeaway. Leave a voicemail every time. I know some of you are saying, no, Lee, but I say yes. And why? Well, your call comes up as a missed call with no voicemail. Automatically unimportant, completely forgettable. But leaving one, that's another touch. And you typically need six to eight touches to break through to a prospect. But with no voicemail, no touch. So you've wasted your time. All right, bonus takeaway, number one, since you should always leave a voicemail, our mantra, that is RS, the RSW mantra, of use every channel in concert with each other has never been more important. You have to alternate your channel so you're not leaving five voicemails a week. Instead, you're emailing, calling, using social where it makes sense, maybe some video follow-up, and yes, including some snail mail outreach. So now that you're leaving that voicemail, here's your second takeaway. Keep it simple, 20 to 30 seconds. This is so important because rambling on which is a great Zeppelin song, or making it painfully clear this is a sales call by yammering on about your amazing firm, that's gonna get a quick delete. Deleted. And as Liz mentions in the presentation, this gets really important as a lot of your prospects are reading your voicemails via email, voice to text, right? So your second bonus takeaway, write and read your voicemail before leaving it. This is not a script. You don't wanna sound like a horrible telemarketer, but type up your voicemail and see how it reads. Is it too long? Does it sound like an ad? If so, rework it. Okay, now your third takeaway. Always remember the goal of your call, which in the beginning is getting a response in order to set that first meeting. So in 20 to 30 seconds at most, provide a reason to believe. You know, I'm, I'm this person with this firm and we do this, this vertical and with these results. Something like that. And to, just to give you an example here, and Craig, let me, let me get a timer going right about now. Hey, I'm Lee with RSW, just reaching out because we specialize in outsourced new business development for agencies and PR firms. Look, our goal is getting clients closer to close. For example, our latest client wins with a, an initial $300,000 project with an association. So I'm reaching out to see if we might be able to help your agency drive more new business. And I'll follow up via email, but you can reach me at 513-559-3111. Not gonna get my real phone number. All right, and then I'll leave you with a third bonus takeaway. And Liz mentioned it in our conference. And if you download this and purchase it, you're gonna to get to see the whole thing, of course. But the bonus takeaway is this, frequency is important. Okay, don't just leave one voicemail. So a final stat for you from Sales Hacker, each time you leave a message, the chances of a callback go up about 10%. So here's that breakdown, Craig, I'm reaching out to you again. We got the first voicemail, 11% callback rate. Second, 22% callback rate. Third voicemail, 33% callback rate. So there you go. All right, hope this is all helpful. You can get all these videos, as we mentioned, from our uh, virtual conference at the link below in the description. Hope this is all helpful to you, and we will see you next time.